Good evening and welcome to the study of the Vicarage of the Parish of All Saints, Harrow Weald. I'm John Barker, the Vicar of All Saints. We're a Church of England parish, part of the Diocese of London. And at the moment we're worshipping from home. We're live streaming and uploading our uh, worship to, face, uh, to YouTube. So if you'd like to join us this evening, we're going to be saying night prayer or complaint as it's often known from the Book of Common Prayer. The service will start in a few minutes, and as we prepare for worship, we're going to listen to the wonderful ladies' choir, uh, Cantando Ensemble, singing The Infant King. Sing lullaby, a beautiful seasonal carol to prepare us for worship this evening. And we thank again uh, Laura and all the ladies from Cantando Assembla for providing so many pieces of music for us to play as part of our worship. And I say it again, we can't wait to welcome them to All Saints for a concert when conditions allow. But now it's Saturday evening, it's the second day of a new year 2021. So let's join together, worship God, and say together, conflict. I greet you all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And now may the Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. 
Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Let's just pause for a moment and keep silence and remember all the good things that have happened in our lives today and give thanks for them. And if we have concerns and anxieties, take a moment to share those with God. Now let's confess our imperfections in the sight of Almighty God. We can pray together, most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. And now, our night hymn, before the ending of the day, and this evening, sung by the lay clerks from the choir of Bath. Bath Abbey. by uh, the lay clerks from the choir of Bath Abbey, singing in plain chant our night hymn. And now our evening psalm. The first verse is from Psalm 143. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and in your faithfulness give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight shall no one living be justified. For the enemy has pursued me, crushing my life to the ground, making me sit in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints within me, my heart within me is desolate. I remember the time past. I muse upon all your deeds. I consider the works of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you. My soul gasps for you like a thirsty land. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. For our evening reflection 
this evening I commend to you the second verse of this psalm. The psalmist writes, Enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight shall no one living be justified. As we begin a new year, let us remember our mortality, our human imperfections. And let us give thanks that God does not judge us as perfect. He accepts and loves us as being human. And he asks not that we even pretend that we can be perfect. He asks simply that we do our best. And so if we want a New Year's resolution for the year 2021, may it be that this year we will do our best for God. From the Gospel of Mark, Jesus encourages us, keep awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening, or at midnight, or at cockcrow, or at dawn, or else he may find you asleep when he comes suddenly. And what I say to you, I say to all, keep awake. And so, P.S., if we resolve to do our best and we really want to do our best, then we need to keep awake so that we can be alert to know what God wants from us and to be there when we get a message of need from those we love so that we can be able to respond to any calls for help, sharing God's love with all those who we love. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of an eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings. Our Gospel Canticle, the Nunc Dimittis. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, now let us, thou thy servant, depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light, to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our fathers, to be praised and glorified above all forever. Let us bless the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise him and magnify him forever. 
Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven, to be praised and glorified above all for ever. The Almighty and most merciful Lord, guard us and give us his blessing. Amen. Dear Lord, as we worship you this evening, we give you thanks for all that we have in our lives. And we pray that we may use your gifts in your service, using them as well as we are able. In this new year which is beginning, may we do our best for you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we come in, continue to commend to you <coughs> all those who are infected with coronavirus. And we ask your blessing upon the doctors and nurses and carers who are looking after all those who are unable to care for themselves. Lord, may they keep safe and may they have the strength to keep building. And we pray that the production of vaccines may proceed and may give us protection so that we can resume the type of living that we used to regard as ours by right. May this experience help us to understand that everything is a gift from you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now we remember those who we've known and loved who are with us no longer and we commend them to your mercy. This evening especially, we commend the immortal soul of Elsie Crutchwell to your safekeeping. And we pray for Michael and the other members of her family at this time of sadness for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Light in our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest. For it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. Abide with us, O Lord, for it is toward evening and the day is far spent. As the watchmen look for the morning, so do we look for thee, O Christ. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost, bless us and preserve us. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Thank you for joining us for worship this evening, wherever you are and whatever time of day it is with you. I pray that wherever you are the rest of this day will be safe, will be peaceful and I wish you all a good night's rest. We'll be worshipping God tomorrow. We're going to keep the Feast of the Epiphany tomorrow. It's the second Sunday after the uh, after Christmas and the Sunday nearest to the Epiphany. So we'll be keeping the Feast at 10 o'clock UK time tomorrow. And if you'd like to join us, you'll be very welcome. Just to stress yet again, don't come to All Saints Church. Uh, our worship will be online. It will be from the vicarage. So you can stay at home, keep warm and Wear whatever clothes you want, make a coffee or whatever you want to drink during the service. But please, if you wish, do join us at 10 o'clock in the morning tomorrow UK time. And now I leave you with another traditional carol sung by Cantando and Ensemble. It's originally a traditional Ukrainian carol, but we've, um, we've turned it into all of our languages. In English, it's the Carol of the Bells. Ella tells me that there's exactly the same carol in Romanian language, let's listen to Cantando Ensemble singing in English.
power of the balance.